cave seems to be structured like a maze, but there's an exit somewhere. Find a way out of the cave and head for the aqueduct. That cave is known as Chornaya Peshara. In Russian, Chornaya Peshara means the black cave from which cold wind blows. It's a magma cavern formed millions of years ago, back when Salino Yarsk was the site of volcanic activity. The structure of the cave is pretty complex, but you should be able to find the aqueduct if you keep moving inward. Head toward the interior of the cave. A torch? A little primitive, but a light's a light. From what I can tell, that torch is made of white birch dipped in turpentine. It burns long, so I don't think you'll have a problem with it burning out on you. If you equip it and press the CQC button, you can use it to smack the enemy. You can also swing it around by pressing that button repeatedly. Useful when you need to clear the room of bats and stuff. With the weapon button, you can light and extinguish a torch. So make sure that thing is out if an enemy is closing in. Get used to it. The light from the torch is visible from a long way off, though. It probably goes without saying, but marching into battle with a torch in your hand is not the sanest course of action. You should only light a torch when you're someplace like a cave where you can't find your way around without a light. Yeah, I hear you.
meet you at last. We are the sons of the boss. I am the pain. I will guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination. Let's get started. As long as the pain is using his hornets to protect his body, you won't be able to damage him with gun attacks. You'll need to use a grenade to get rid of the hornet swarm first. Go into first person view and throw a grenade at him. The shotgun should work as well. Get rid of those hornets protecting him and then attack him with a gun. Snake, watch out for those bullet bees. Bullet bees are the name the pain gives the special hornets he raises inside his own body. And if they get into your body, your wounds will become worse and worse until you get rid of them. 
If you're afflicted by bullet bees, go into the survival viewer immediately and use Cure to dig them out with your knife. Once the bullet bees are out, don't forget to apply styptic and disinfectant to the wound. The pain is said to possess the power to control his hornets at will. Watch out for insect-based attacks, especially his so-called bullet bees. The pain has the power to control swarms of hornets at will. Watch out for his hornet-based attacks. The exit from the cave should be toward the back. Proceed through the cave and find the exit to the swamp aqueduct. The exit from the... Wow, you caught a coral snake. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. Its venom is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Apparently, the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison that keeps them from attacking. There are many animals that mimic the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. Uh -huh. You're not even listening, are you? No. <sighs> Wearing the water pattern, are we? The water pattern was used a lot by the old German defense force. Even though it's called the water pattern, it wasn't designed specifically to blend in underwater. They only gave it that name because the pattern resembles the waves on the surface of a pool of water. But still, it really does look like it could be confused for liquid waves. It might conceal you underwater. Snake, you beat the pain. Not without a tough fight. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What are you getting at? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary Cobra unit. That's all. What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Well, that too. Don't waste your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. I certainly hope so. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Right. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie Swamp.
this tastes great. A cap shaped like a crocodile head, you say? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. Supposedly, they sent agents out to hide in herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. You okay, Snake? Now forget it. Huh?
Come in, HQ. Snake, that building next to you is an enemy armory. As you might have guessed, those armories you sometimes run into are where they keep their ammo and other stuff. If you take out an armory, the enemy units in the area will have their ammo supply cut off. And if they know they're on their last leg, they'll use ammo a little more sparingly in a gunfight. Bottom line, if you blow up an armory, the enemy's firepower decreases. By destroying an armory, you can cut off the enemy's supply of ammunition. That should make your job a lot easier. Looks like you're using splitter face paint. Splitter is an indoor face paint. Painting your face with splitter should help you blend in better when you're infiltrating a building. I see you've captured an Indian Gavial. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. I tried the meat. It was great. Well, good for you. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. Thank you. 
your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? Each time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. Damn you! Hold it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? Uh. hasn't run out yet. There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. <sighs> Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? The pain is dead. What? He may be a child, but he's definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. I'm leaving him to you, the fear. is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. 
Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Yeah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara. Kuwabara. <sighs> Sorrow, is that you? You want to save? Hold on a sec. Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic. With the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake.